The lovely thing, of course, about having a slope at the back of your property is that you can go up to the top of it and get the most amazing view over the area surrounding you. But so the, the thing is to get up to the top first. Absolutely. The, the top of the, the, the property will obviously give you the uh, commanding view over the rest of the, 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 the elements of the garden, such as in this case the swimming pool, the different uh, patio areas. But um, by terracing a, a slope property, you're also making use of the different levels uh, in the garden um, or creating levels which create interest. So it, mm. it adds an additional dimension to, to the garden. Well, this one has gone down on so many different levels because it is quite a slope. It's a severe slope, yeah. Yes. Um, so there would have been quite a lot of earthworks going on here. Oh yeah, most certainly. It wouldn't be a cheap exercise uh, and it's not something you're easily going to want to do yourself. Um, this, in, in this case, you may want to call, <laughs> call in an expert. Yeah, no, you definitely need somebody to come and do this kind of work because there's a lot of digging away and then backfilling because you've got to get all of your retaining walls that are going to be holding all the soil. Yeah, and you have to compact properly, otherwise your uh, paving is going to all start dipping over time. So it's, it's quite a lot of um, thought that goes into this. But um, also what you can see that, that they've done here, they've made use of different types of, of flooring materials. So you've got um, a stone uh, or concrete uh, flagstones as well as um, in certain areas gravel. And the gravel, um, while it's still a hardscape element, uh, helps add a different texture to the garden. So it sort mm. of softens up in a way um, where it would be impractical to put lawn on steps and also to get a lawnmower up here. Um, it, it makes it easier to soften the garden without high maintenance. One thing you're going to have to get right in this garden as well is your planting because with acres it feels like of hard landscaping you need something to soften it all up yeah, absolutely the, the the hardscape areas that are create that'll create a lot of heat are the areas where you as a person will relax lie down put a chair out but ultimately the the planting is what creates a, a sense of beauty around you and it's um, what will soften and add color um, to to the the, the the garden as well as add some some sense if you use things like uh, jasmine uh, you'll get a nice smell going through the, the garden as well now this particular garden that we're in at the moment is for a, a couple whose children have already left home, so they don't have any small kids, but this would not be exactly ideal for those people who have got little kids. Yeah, if you've got uh, small kids, um, you'd need to think about um, some kind of a balustrade um, around the, the edges, where, because they're, they're quite significant drop-offs where they could get injured, um, as well as the, the pool would obviously need a, a net or some kind of a, a way of, of, of controlling access from, by children. So you could, um, at the bottom of the, the garden, in this case the bottom of the garden one could fence it off and, and um, have a, a gate for access or you could individually um, uh, sec secure each area so you could mm. put um, balustrades in certain areas um, others where it's not such a high drop you could leave it out and then obviously the pool you could uh, put a, some kind of a pool cover or a pool net over. Now there's an uh, interesting thing that I've noticed over there I want to ask you about that it's got to do with the cladding. Craig it's this what is with a half wall of riven stone cladding. Normally it wouldn't be such a, a good idea, but in this case it works quite quite well because um, there's a, a row of uh, Fredinia tropica in front of the wall and that'll be grown into a hedge. So ultimately when the, the plant gets the right height, probably be about here, you're not going to see this uh, painted area, you're just going to see the, the cladding sticking out above a solid hedge. So it saves cost on day one and it's not going to make any difference, no one will know that it's there or not there in, in a year's time. <laughs> 